Man, I had so much fun visiting my family and friends in Jersey. And one of the best times, aside from the Thanksgiving Day meal, being with family, friends, and loved ones, was the time that I was able to get with some married couples who are near and dear to my heart. And we were able to have an honest conversation about relationships. And it was really important to my girlfriend, Courtney, and I to be able to sit down and talk to people about how they manage through different conflicts, how they manage through the different nuances of being married and being together for long periods of time. And what spoke to me the most was that anybody can gain any new information regardless of what level of relationship you've ever been in. There's a stigma that a lot of the times I've received from married couples is that you know, being married, it's really difficult for you to receive feedback or receive advice or receive insight from someone who's never been married. And while that may be true, we cannot limit what God is going to do through someone. Someone may not have been married or never been married before, but that doesn't mean that God can't use them to get a message through to you. Just because I've never been married, I know what, how important communication is to any type of relationship, be it business, be it familial, be it romantic, whatever it may be. So there's a perspective or there's an insight or there's something that God can place through me that can get through to somebody who's been married for many years. Let's, let us not keep that stigma of saying that just because a person hasn't been where I am, they can't be a benefit to me. We have to be more open to being receptive and being open and available and accessible to what God is going to do through us and through other people. He's placed people around us for a purpose and he's going to work that purpose for the good of those that love him and are called according to his purpose. Romans eight twenty eight. He's going to call for things to work together for the good of those that are called according to his purpose. And in doing so, that is not limited to a specific type of person with a specific type of experience. And if we continually rely on that, what's going to happen is we're going to miss out on what God is doing through somebody to, to help us, to, to guide us, to give us that moment where we're like, hmm, I never thought of that. There's many times in conversation when there's someone who may be younger than me. They may not look like me. They may not walk like me. They may not talk like me. They may not have the experience that I've had. They may be less mature in, in certain aspects. They may say something and I'm like, hmm, that's a good point. Wow, I really took the time to sit down and have a conversation with you. And because I did, I've learned something. And I believe that it's a two-way street. Just because you're receiving information doesn't mean that you can't give it. And that person may benefit from having the conversation with you like, wait, if we sat down, I learned something and you learned something. Oftentimes we're looking for solutions to our problems and that solution lies in us sitting down and having conversation with people. And it can be people from many different walks of life, people that you normally wouldn't have conversation with. That is why it's so important to engage with your community and your community is the people that are around you. There are people around you now that can help you in ways that you would never know unless you sat down and talked with them. So all I'm saying is that we need to be open to what God is doing and God is doing a lot through community and that community comprises of the people that are around you. So you need to be open to that. We need to be receptive to what's happening because God is shifting. He's, he's wanting to shift you right now into the place that he has called you to be. But you can't shift if you're being rigid or if you're being confined to what you think is your routine or your normal way of living or your, or your normal way of thinking. Because God is trying to transform your thinking and, tr and renew your mind and making you that new person and, and, and you're a new creation in him. So you're continually evolving, you're continually growing, you're continually uh, ascending to a higher level. But don't get stuck on one level because you're thinking that this is, this is just it or it has to happen a certain way or a certain person has to tell me something or this person has to have this certain level of experience. And I'm not discounting reaching out to people who may be uh, more versed in a certain area or specialized in a certain area, but don't limit it to just the, the usual or what makes sense because what makes sense to us may not, or what makes sense to God may not make sense to us. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. His ways are higher than our ways. And the book of Isaiah chapter 55 talks about that verses eight through nine. So in that regard, we have to be open to what he's doing. Even though being open is vulnerable, it's scary, it can be fearful, 
but we know that we serve a God who is good and he's working for the benefit of the, the advancement of his kingdom and he's wanting to do it through us. So it's a privilege to be used and he's using people that may not be the people that we ordinarily hang around or associate with. So that's where we're having to grow in those particular areas and be able to be open and available to what he's doing through us. So I encourage you today, if you're willing to step outside your box, I guarantee growth will happen. I guarantee that things, you may, some breakthrough may happen. There's things in your life that you may have been trying to figure out. But if you just step outside of that comfort zone, you step outside of your normal way of thinking, your normal way of doing things, and I guarantee you, you'll, you'll, you'll reap the benefits, the positive benefits of that. May God continue to bless you all.